Welcome, this is the third and last video of this introduction on Retrolog 2. In the first video, we've taken a look at the synthesizer page, made our own sound. In video two, we've taken a look at the arpeggiator and modulators available. And now it's time to have a look at the effects page. At the top of the page, you can see we have up to six effects available. Before we have a look at the individual effects, let me show you that you can change the signal flow. So for example, drag the equalizer to the last position in the signal chain. So you can equalize the entire sound coming from the Retrolog 2. Now let me start at the end of this current chain. Let's start with the reverb. You can activate it by simply clicking on it. And of course you can adjust the mix parameter. I've set it to 12% and you have parameters to change the room size, high cut to enable chorusing, etc. Let's have a look at the delay. You can also activate it with this button. Also, you have a mix parameter. Of course, you can change the delay time, the note values. You can also adjust the left and right distribution. You can change the feedback amount, of course, and you can switch the mode of this delay, for example, to ping pong. Alright, let's move on to the modulation effect. Let me enable it and also switch this page over to modulation. And right now I've set it to ensemble. So let me turn off the arpeggiator for now so you can hear it a little bit better. Okay, let me turn it off again and switch over to the phaser. Note that you have presets for all the individual effects. The equalizer, of course, um, works as you would expect from an equalizer. And last but definitely not least, the resonator. Now this is something special of the Retrolog 2. Basically, it is a three-pole filter and you have different filter characteristics to choose from. Low pass, high pass, peak. I've chosen Wings 1. And of course, again, you have presets such as stereo motion, for example, or talking low pass. Now let's listen to it. I will set the mix parameter to 100%, 100% resonator. And without it, and on again. Of course, you can adjust the filter frequencies right here. You also have LFOs available to modulate each individual filter. Back on the filter page, you can adjust the modulation depth for each individual filter. Great! Now we've seen all major sections of the Retrolog 2. We've had a look at the effects, at the arpeggiator, the modulators, and of course the synthesizer section itself. I hope you enjoy twisting and tweaking and making your own sounds, and of course have fun making music. Wow, wow.